seven comedians, ten cities and eleven shows over three weeks. It is seven days live and it's hopefully coming to a town near you. Comedians Jeremy Corbett, Di Henwood, Paul Ego, Jeremy Elwood, Ursula Carlson, Josh Thompson and Ben Hurley are breaking out of the studio and onto the stage this November and December. And we have Ben Hurley here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Ben. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, studio audience. Hey. Very I feel like I'm on the Cosby show or something. You know, yeah. this is equally as big as your studio yeah. audience. Um, I want to ask you with the seven days because I can imagine that how long does the stage show go on for because I'm sure when you're filming the show there's a lot of riffing going on and what it takes you six hours to film one episode or something oh so, yeah so when we do the the TV show we film for about two hours and then it gets edited down yeah, uh, to all the, the really funny stuff yeah so anything that's too rude or um, <laughs> not funny enough uh, gets uh, hits the cutting room floor but uh, in the in the live Obviously, we can say and do whatever we want. The, the live show is about two hours, and we do a stand-up section in the first half. Really? Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. No, because I, I, I quite often watch the outtakes of Seven Days because mm -hmm. they are, and I think, oh, no wonder they didn't put that on TV. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. a bit risque. Yeah, to see those. Just on the website. You oh. just go on the Seven Days. Literally, yeah. like lawyers have to watch it before it gets broadcast. Mm. So because it's, yeah. it's it's even the stuff that goes to air is pretty risque sometimes, isn't I don't it? Know what you're talking about? It's very conservative, <laughs> very tame. It's yeah. You could do, they could broadcast at the same time as the show. Actually, you know what? They probably should. <laughs> should. So maybe. <laughs> How do, how do you get right <laughs> all those people, uh, you know, just to start working on what has been happening in the news? Do they have to sit down and read a newspaper to come up with their jokes, or do they just do it naturally? Yeah, I guess everybody has a certain amount of knowledge about the world, except for Josh Thompson, who has no idea about anything. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, there's, it's, it's, it's a great time... To, uh, to to be talking about the news because yes. you're making funnies about the news. Yeah, I mean we have a, a host of a reality show as the most powerful person on earth. I mean, you know, I mean, if we did that in New Zealand, Mike would be the prime minister. So <laughs> well, he's got a bit of a yeah. loose. He's at a bit of a loose end after the show. So maybe <laughs> maybe <Yeah>. he should. <laughs> True. <laughs> you are you are our Donald Trump. Oh good. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Just got to work on your hair game. <laughs> you're true. Um, a nice fake tan. Um, okay, so with the seven days live tour it's been around the country before mm -hmm. uh, and people really gravitate to it why do you think they come out and they see it well I think it's different every time uh, it, it's different every literally every show f from day to day so uh, I think once you've gone once you you come every year I mean I think we, this is our fifth tour I believe and, yeah. uh, and and people sort of make it as part of their year now and, and do you find that people are grateful that you've managed to get to their town is that part of it Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we, we go to some far-flung places uh, in the country uh, and they're just happy to see people from outside the gene pool. You know what it's like, Mike? You're from Gore. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. And uh, you and know what it's like when, when yeah. strangers come to town, yep. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and, no, and Gore is the place that they would absolutely love seven days there. Yeah. A, for a bit of a laugh, and B, just to give you a hard time. Pretty much, yeah. We, we, we do go, I, don't, I don't think we're doing it this year, but we do. We have been to Invercargill quite a few times and uh, and we wheel out the mayor every year and... Uh, and, and <laughs> And the mess that minister. never change. Yeah. So tell me, Ben, mm. I want to know about your tour mates. When you travel, do you have to share rooms? Uh, we don't have to, but some of us choose to. Do you choose yeah. to share rooms? <laughs> yeah. Who is particularly particularly irritating when you're on tour? There's always that one person? There, are, There is. Paul Ego. Um, <laughs> how did you know? Not... <laughs> Not, not, not that he's like naturally annoying, but he does try to be. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just that, to he, agitate you. Well, he's got teenage boys, right. and oh, he so gets it. yeah. So he's like, I'm a dad too, but my, my my kids are quite young, so they're not quite to the level of just constantly annoying them all the time. So I know he, you are, but what am I? Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? I'm pretty good at that, actually. <laughs> great. Yeah. No, no, I love Paul anyway. Yeah. I've been saying too much this week. I need to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, <laughs> just burning bridges. OK, um, what were you doing before comedy? Oh, nothing. I, uh, I was a student <laughs> and uh, I started doing comedy uh, when I was a student in Wellington. Uh, I did a little bit of radio, but if, right. I used to work for Maury FM Wellington and... Uh, there's only so many times you can hear Can't Find the Moonlight by Leanne Rhymes, and so I <laughs> left that job and, um, yeah, just did this. See, the thing is with comedy is that did you ever think that you could actually make a living from comedy in New Zealand? Because it's a small industry, isn't it? You, you know, it's, it's a difficult one. Uh, yeah, I guess Not so. Not for you, obviously, but for everyone else. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it was, it's always just been my, you know, aim to, to just to make a living from it. So it, it was always amazing to me. I grew up in a little small town uh, called Hawara on the west coast of the North Island and 
the idea of being a professional comedian was just insane, you know. You, you either went out of the town or you got a job at the chemist store. <laughs> that, that was kind of or your the options. Bread making place. Or the, well, yeah, yeah, up the coast of Manai, mm. yeah, at Yarrow's. Uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, good reference. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so just incredible to me that, that, that I can do this for a living. And, and why do you think Kiwis, because they clearly love Seven Days, I mm. mean, it's been going seven years, why, why do you think they love the TV show as well as the live show? Because it's funny. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I guess w we don't change much, but the news does, so it's, it's, it's different every week, and, uh, you know, the, the kind of basic structure of it doesn't change much. We, we, uh, the, the sort of core cast is, is relatively... Uh, talented, consistent, yes. and, yeah. consistent and, talented. and we we bring in a new talent, and so it's a kind of good mix of the old and the new. And I think the thing is too with it is that you, when you're watching the news yourself, quite often you're thinking these inappropriate mm -hmm. thoughts in your head, and mm -hmm. when you hear someone actually saying them out loud, it's really funny. Yeah, and you, you do it really well. And refreshing. Yeah, it is refreshing. <laughs> uh, Seven Days Live is unleashed in a theatre near you this November and December. Check out the Seven Days website for details. Ben, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, have a great tour. I'm gonna have some soup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. I ran out of time to talk about your house, but never mind, we'll save that for next time.